Well, good morning. I came back with the Middle Sun Trace. You. Yeah. And we are going to recover what I found last night, that ridiculously awesome find. We got two bikes that we think kind of work. We got a pump because we're not that confident. We've got saws, rope, tripods, all of these things uh, that will hopefully help us recover this awesome find. Back to the footage from yesterday. Well, it's, it's the warmest Saturday of the year so far, which means the river right back here is probably gonna be full of you guys out fishing, which is good. I'm not upset that there are people fishing. You should be fishing. So that means I need to get away from the crowds. I do need to get away from the crowds, which means I have an old bike that I stole from my kids that will hopefully pedal me far enough down river so I can get out and explore. It's 61 degrees. I just got the weather report from Minnesota, which we just left. Uh, gloomy. Uh, we're in the midst of a cold front. Good to be here in Idaho. We're gonna go try to catch a few browns, get the Tinkara. Let's see what happens. Well, my goal is to bring a bike that no one would steal. I might just leave it. It's in rough shape. Back tire is totally bent. Doesn't help that I'm wearing waders. Well, I'm out of breath from biking in my waders on a bike that is broken. Normally I would hide it a little better, but I'm okay if somebody steals it. Today we're, we're gonna be on the Tinkara. This is how small it breaks down. First cast, tree. Okay, fishing's been really slow. Really slow today. But all it takes is one fish to change the mood. You know what I'm saying? One 20 inch brown. All right, do you ever look at something in the water and think, what is that? And then you almost walk past it. And then you realize it is something worthwhile checking out. So I'm here fishing on the Boise River and I see a little log jam and I'm like, I wonder if it's deep enough to fish. So I get a little closer and no, it's not. But I realize the log jam is created by something that was once living. It's a little gross, but here we go. This here was a Boise River deer. And as you can see, A buck. So we're gonna abandon the fishing trip for a minute and we're gonna get to the bottom of this thing. I don't think I have a saw. Maybe it's so rotten it'll just fall off. It'd be pretty gross though. So I'm gonna dump my bag, we'll come back. I mean, it's in the water so it shouldn't be that stinky, right? It's just crazy that it's a deer carcass that caused this log jam. Oh boy. Things are in there pretty good. Get some of these things out of the way. Oh, bunch of mud. I think it's mud. I see the head. That might be bigger than I think. Oh. If you're fishing down river, I'm sorry. Things just got muddy. If you watch this video, you'll know why. I'm, I'm a little confused. That seems like the head. Yeah, we get antlers here. Is it possible that we got two deer locked together i mean otherwise it's bigger than it's bigger than i thought look yeah here's another set right oh this is a big deer i think it's just a really big deer
I might have to, oh, we got movement. It's just a bigger deer, guys. Look at this thing. All these sticks wedged in there. Keeping this thing probably in place. Oh, oh. All right, it's stinkier. It's getting stinky now. Oh, what a nice deer. What a nice deer. Oh man, look at this rack. Look at that rack, guys. Unbelievable. Right here in the city. Just a cool. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, it's stinky. I mean, you can imagine, right? That's, oh, I gotta get this to shore so I can come back and get it. It's pretty decayed. Oh, but not decayed enough just to rip the, the rack off. Oh, I am sorry if you're down river. There, we're floating. I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow with a saw. Look at that monster, oh my gosh. So gross, but so freaking cool. Oh, big old mule, big old buck. Wow. I gotta think, where am I gonna put him? Where am I gonna put him? So that I can come get them and nobody else does. The river's gonna go crazy here in a few days, I think. So I'm a little worried to have it on this side. Hey, let's bump board this thing. Let's bump board this mealy. What do you think? What's the spread? I don't even know how you're supposed to do that, but maybe the widest is. 31, gives you an idea how big this thing is. 22 and a half tall. Look at this thing. Wow, massive deer. Gross too, super disgusting. Oh, oh. All right, I'm gonna get it to the other side just in case the river goes up. I'm gonna drag it over here, bury it in some sticks, and come back hopefully tomorrow and get it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So good. Come on, big boy. All the hair is gone. I don't think the back straps are any good. Oh, I wonder how it died. It's a big deer. You can imagine that's. A really terrible smell. I don't want to touch it any more than I have to. Okay. So freaking waterlogged. So heavy. And I don't want to touch it anywhere down there. Just trying to see if there's any holes where maybe someone shot it. I don't see anything yet. Why? Won't you move? All right, we can do this. Come on. Oh my word. Wow, that does not smell good. That's so gross. Well, I didn't expect this when I set out to go fishing today. In fact, fishing was terrible. Yesterday was incredible. So I thought I'd come out and make a quick brown trout video. Terrible fishing. However, we came across this beauty. Uh, I don't know if beauty is the right word. It's probably one of the worst smelling things I've ever smelled. And you can, just thinking about it. But we're gonna come back early tomorrow, cut off the antlers. Don't fish in this spot for quite a while because you'll smell it. But what a, what a beast. 
What a incredible animal. It's too bad that too bad that it died this way. All right, I'm sitting right here by the big buck. And then right behind me, you can see her coming to investigate. Probably like, what the heck is that terrible smell? Well, you'll find out soon. There's a couple of them back there. You smell that? It's gross, isn't it? Made it back to the bike. <sighs> Tires are still there. Everything's attached. So that means I have to ride it back if I can. I'm already so hot and sweaty. I smell like a dead deer. Trace, are you excited to see what I found there yesterday? Is. We found this massive deer on the river. I found it last night. Not we, Trace was doing something else, surfing probably. We're in town and it's a huge, massive buck. And now we came back with stuff to hopefully salvage the rack. And then we actually got Trace out of bed for this. So you know, you know it's no, probably it's, good. No, it's good. Anyways, let's get biking. We have to hurry up because we gotta get back for picking up some kids for church. Where are we kind of running late because we stopped for breakfast. <laughs> We just parked the bikes. It was a little chilly. I didn't have a jacket. You warm, Trace? I'm pretty warm. Trace is warm because he came prepared. So we got a little trail here. There shouldn't be anybody back here. However, there is occasionally a homeless camp. But I don't imagine that they would have found the deer yet. Or wanted to find the deer for that matter. We're back. There he is, still here. What's wrong? Oh, it smells so bad. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. I got the camera. back to the bikes. I'm assuming we may get a few interesting looks because uh, well, I don't think people are used to seeing in town somebody biking with a saw in their backpack and a nice set of mule deer antlers and the other one. So. All right, we made it back. We only had a few encounters with people but all of them did a double take. When you see this going down the green belt in Boise, you're like, what? What do those guys just do? Is there a dead deer in the green belt somewhere? But here they are, their new home. Just a really, just really cool, wide rack. Probably the, well, it is the biggest mule deer I've ever seen in town for sure. And it's unfortunate, we don't know how he died, but he died. Hey, Heidi's here. We're not going to tell her how bad his stomach or what I'm touching it used to be on a dead animal, but this was our day. This is our morning. Now we're heading to church. Thanks for watching.